In this short tutorial, we'll look at how you can create a meme. Now a Google search tells us that a meme is a humorous image, video, piece of text, etc. that is copied, often with slight variations, and spread rapidly by internet users. It is typically text using the font impact, centered at the top and bottom of an image. White text with a black border is typically used because it is easily readable on almost any background color. I'm going to use one of my own images for this project and do a bit of touch-up in PaintShop Pro. So that this image opens quicker online, I'm going to go to the image menu, down to resize. I'll select by print size and I want to make my size 12 inches across. Clicking on the tab key will default my height to 9 inches. I want to make sure it's 72 dpi and then click OK. Let's just zoom back to our image. And the next thing to do is give me an area for the text. I don't want the text directly on the image itself. So again, from the image menu, this time I'm going to go to canvas size. I'll change my dimensions to inches. I'm going to make this 18 inches across, but I want to make sure that I select lock aspect ratio. Change this to 18 inches. Selecting the tab key, you can see my height is 13.5. And I want to make sure I change the background color, and I'm going to select black. And click OK. When I click OK again, this will give me an area to put my text in. Let me just zoom to the entire image. Now it's time to add the text. From my Layers palette, I'm going to select New Layer, and I want to select a vector layer. Now that I have my vector layer selected, I'll click on my text tool, ensure that I have the impact font selected, and to do that, I'll click on the font drop down, select the letter I on the keyboard, and I can simply select impact. I have my color set properly, and now it's just a matter of typing on the screen the text that I want. Now that we have our first string of text selected, I'll click on the check mark for the action, and I'll go ahead and type in the second string of text. And now it's just a matter of resizing the text. The final step in Create Our Meme is to save the file out. From the File menu, I'm going to select Save As. I can, and because this is going online, I can save the file either as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm going to select PNG. I'll give my file a name. And click Save. That brings us to the end of the short tutorial on how to create a meme in PaintShop Pro.